Hi. In um, January of 2020, I checked out this book from the library and I still have it because nobody has requested it yet. Genesis, The Deep Origin of Societies by Edward O. Wilson. And one of the quotes that stood out to me is on page 20 and it says, education fitted to the needs and potential of all its members is the key to a healthy society. Education fitted to the needs and potential of all its members is the key to a healthy society. Word. So then on, this is my dream journal that I'm going through. And on March 23rd of 2020, I had a handful of dreams, four dreams that I wrote about. So number four, it says, last night I dreamt I was teaching high school. Details were very clear when I woke, but fuzzy now. At some point, I went to the principal slash dean, implored him, how can I keep working, keep teaching amid this coronavirus outbreak? Here's what you'll do, he told. This part was so fucking vivid. It was so real. He told me then how I needed to. It was like go online and fill out such and such. But the important part is how real and vivid it was. How deep, true, and meaningful it felt. Of course, in reality, I cannot teach right now, both due to crew and due to corona. But I've been worried about finding work in the fall as a substitute. How stiff the competition will likely be now. And goodness, let's please hope the kids will be in school in the fall. I think they will, but who fucking knows at this point? Anyway, this man I was talking to is so vivid. It was like he was another spirit. He was maybe 50s, light, thin, gray hair, thin, angular face, blue eyes. And it was almost like he was the significant person on my path or a spirit urging me to keep going. Stay on this course of teaching high school. It's the work I'm meant to do. Here's what I have to share. We have to change education and we have to make wellness a priority. Now I've been involved in schools since the fall of 2020 and it's very clear to me that wellness is not a priority because finding a space in the schedule of the students for wellness education is very difficult. It is not built in to the curriculum. It has to be built into the curriculum. Every grade of student, K through 12, needs curriculum-based wellness education. Period. We shouldn't be having to find a space for it and saying, oh, well, you know, they've got English, they've got science and math, they have to do that. We can't, we can't pull from those subjects. Oh, really? Because I'm looking around and students are killing themselves. So yes, we can make space for this. We have to make space for this. And we need to start now.